Hello everyone. This is the last video in the series of significant figures. In this video, I'm going to apply the information we already learned for sigfig rules and sigfigs in the calculation. So for this video, I'm going to talk about sigfigs in multi-step calculation. Please understand for doing the correct calculation and reporting your answer by proper sig figs, you need to remember first sig fig rules. Second one, you need to know how to apply the sig fig rules for different types of calculation. Then, whenever we are going to combine them, how it works. The first step is sig fig rules, talking about sig fig digits when we have zeros or non-zero digits. Please watch the previous videos regarding that one. The second one, when we have any calculation, I already worked on two types of calculation in our class. One type of calculation, if we have multiplication and division. Another one, if we have addition and subtraction. So for each pair of calculate, calculation or each pair of operation, you just need to remember one rule, fewest sig figs and fewest decimal places. So for this video, I'm going to talk about how to apply this knowledge when we have a combination of operators, if we have a complicated calculations. I'm going to give it you a couple examples to make sure you understand this part of our activity in the sigfix topic. First, whenever we have multi-step calculation, what does that mean, this type of calculation? Please look at the example I give it you. As you see on the screen, I added this number to a number multiplied by another one. So if you remember, our operators divided by one pair multiplication division another pair addition subtraction so as you see here i pick this one and this one so we are going to work on two different types of operators when we have multi-step calculation so you may have any combination of these four so we are going to know what should we do if we have a combination of these operators. Let me write first FSF fewest sig figs for this pair of calculation and FDP for this one. Whenever we have multi-step calculations, first you need to follow order of operations. What does that mean? Let me just break it down for you and say only one rule. If we have a series of calculate a series of operators, please first calculate parentheses. Anything in the parentheses. So if we say follow order of operations means calculate parentheses first. So if I have something like this, I need to calculate this side of this calculation. Parentheses first. I don't want to talk about more details, but parentheses first is enough for this class. The second one, it says keep track of sig figs through each step and only run at the end. We are going to know what does that mean, this rule. Keep track of sig figs through each step and only run at the end. It looks this step it composed of two conditions, only run at the end. What does that mean? It means you are allowed, you are allowed to run your answer only at the end. You are allowed to round your number only once, and this one is at the end. 
you cannot run your number in the middle of the calculation. You cannot run your number several times. Only once and it would be at the end. We are going to know what does that mean when we say something like that one. And what is the meaning of keep track of calculation? Please pay attention. I'm going to show you how to calculate this example. Then I give it you a couple to work on. When we have like this, first I need to calculate parentheses. I'm going to report this answer on the top of the parentheses. So let me use my calculator 2.10 times 0.5896. I'm going to write the answer here. 1.23816 then I have to add that one to 0 0.83 0 0.83 so the answer is 2.06816 guys I calculated and I reported this one right now I'm gonna work on six feet groups so please understand at the beginning I just calculate everything right now I'm going to apply six feet rules I never calculate one more time I calculate it and I'm going to apply the six feet rules first I calculated the parentheses look at the operator in the parentheses is multiplication what is the rule for multiplication fewest six feet fewest six feet let me write that so Right now, I'm going to count how many sig figs for our numbers. For this number, we have three sig figs. For this number, we have four sig figs. If you don't know how to count sig figs, please watch the previous videos. So three sig figs, four sig figs. I need to report by fewest sig fig. So let me draw a box. One sig fig, two sig figs, three sig figs. I draw a box. Three sig figs are reported here. This is the meaning of keep track of sig figs through each step. It means after this step, I draw a box. It means we need to keep three sig figs. Please understand, we don't run our number. We are not allowed to run our number in the middle of the calculation. I'm in the middle of the calculation. I have to add this number to this. So please don't run this forget running and only at the end whenever you are going to submit your answer you need to run your number so right now we have another calculation addition what is the rule for addition fewest decimal place so whenever i add this number to this number i have to report fewest decimal places so i need to count how many decimal places for each number for this number two decimal places one two digits after the decimal point we count them as six as decimal places plus and for this number i draw a box so i need to consider only digits in the box digits in the box so i need to count decimal places decimal places one two two decimal places here two decimal places here so Two decimal places here, two decimal places here. Fewest decimal places it means two decimal places. I need to draw a box by two decimal places. One decimal place, two decimal places. So this number has two decimal places. Right now, right now I am going to remember that I am allowed to round my number once. This is a time at the end. This digit is 8, round it. So report your answer as 2.07. 2.07. Guys, I'm going to review this example one more time in the next slide. But please remember, everything I said, you just need to apply for any examples given to you. When we have a calculation. First, we need to calculate parentheses. Parentheses is fewest sig fig, fewest sig figs. So in this example, we calculate multiplication before addition. It depends on our calculation. Parentheses, 
few sig figs, three sig figs, four sig figs. So I need to report by three sig figs. I never run. I add all number to this number. I add it. So run right now for addition rule is few decimal places two decimal places and this number has two decimal places as well so i need to report my answer by two decimal places so two decimal places it means i have to round my number to the correct number so this digit is eight i round it up 2.07 so please review this slide one more time please review this example one more time to understand the meaning of multi-step calculation in this example i'm going to ask you to calculate like this point five zero zero plus two point one times three point nine six I ask you to calculate and report your answer by proper sig fig. What is the answer? Whenever we say what is the answer, it means you need to apply sig fig rules. I may ask you please watch the video, calculate, and then check your answer with my answer. Hope you get the correct answer too. All right, guys. 2.1 times 3.96. The first step. We need to calculate parentheses. Parentheses, I calculate that. 8.316 plus 0 0.500. The answer is 8.816. Guys, I already calculated that one. I already calculated. Right now, I have to back and look at the six big rules. I have to back and look at the sig fig rules. First, this operator. I calculated this operator. Multiplication. Rule is fewer sig figs. I can't eat here. Two sig fig, three sig fig. Two and three, we should report by fewer sig figs. Two, two sig figs. Look, one, two. So I draw a box. Or two sig Then we have another step, addition. What is the rule for addition? Fewest decimal places. So I'm gonna count the decimal places. Three decimal places, digits after the decimal point, we count them as decimal places. So three decimal places here. In the box, we have only one decimal place, three and one. Fewest decimal places, one decimal place. So I need to report my answer by one decimal place. This. Right now, you can run your final answer. So this digit is one. I run my answer as 8.1, 8.8. So this is the correct answer for this calculation. Any other answer, we don't accept that one as correct answer for this calculation. And final and final example in this video, the last one, 1.5 times 0 0.980 times 3.1 plus 2.86 question mark please calculate this number calculate for this example and report your answer by proper sig fig all right so i'm going to calculate that remember rules so first i need to calculate the parentheses I'm going to write it here 5.96 times this 3.980 and this 2.1.5 so times these two numbers 
one, two. So I calculate that one and right now I have to back and check six week rules. First parenthesis. What is the rule for this operator? Fewest decimal places. Fewest decimal places. So one decimal place, two decimal places. So the rule is fewest decimal places here. One and two. I should report by one decimal place. I draw a box with one decimal place. Then we have multiplication. What is the rule for multiplication? Fewest sig fig. I need to count sig fig rules. Two sig figs. How about this one? Three sig figs. One, two, three. We count this zero as sig figs. Three sig figs. How about this? One, two. The number in the box. Two sig figs. So fewest sig figs means two. Draw a box. Right now, let me draw a circle, and this digit is 6, so I draw it 8.8. 8. It's interesting. My previous example, it was 8.8. .8. This one is 8.8, .8. but please understand, this is not the, uh, it's not true to get all of that, your answer 8.8. .8. .8. So it was interesting. You work on two different examples, and you see the meaning of sig fix in multi-step calculations. Please look at your examples on your textbooks. You have two or three examples on your textbook. In case you need to have more practice problem, you are going to apply this knowledge for your practice problem as well. Thank you for watching this video.